Is there a money-making blueprint? This is the perpetual question probably all humans ask themselves at one time or another and some people <laughs> more than others. So I'll give you my opinion on that. Is there kind of like a map? You follow X, Y, Z, boom, money starts pouring in. And I'm not sure it works exactly that way, but I'll tell you, let me give you a few little things that I think are real applicable. Number one, I read an interesting article years ago and it said there's five approaches that people have or five attitudes people uh, portray when they are confronted with someone else's success. So let's say you see a pro athlete or you see a, a billionaire in a Forbes magazine. Uh, how do you react? So, and this is directly relevant to your potential income uh, or earning potential in life. So the number one thing is like people say, oh, that person got lucky. Number two, they say they did something dishonest. Number three, they say they maybe they inherited it. You know, I forget number four. And then number five, only 20% of the time do people go, hmm, maybe that person did something that I didn't do. Maybe they attribute it to kind of like physics, the law of cause, cause and effect. For every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So the number one thing that I think you know, number one, if you want to make more money, the second you begin to become what I call quote unquote negative dissector, you already are paralyzed. And income doesn't go up when you're paralyzed. So the second you go, well, that person is successful only because they inherited their money or because probably, I don't know, but I bet you they did something uh, unethical or, or just a big luck event happened in their life. Well, what's the end game there? What are you going to learn from it? I was on doing a live call and this guy said to me, he said, but Ty, take someone like Donald Trump. Donald Trump admits his father gave him a million dollar loan. And I said, well, so you're dissecting and saying that a guy like Donald Trump isn't that successful because his father gave him a million dollars. Well, he turned it into $9 billion. Now, I'm not a necessarily pro-Trump for president or whatever, but... I've learned never negative dissect people who are successful. Why? You can't learn anything. But if you do the opposite, which is go, hmm, he took a million and turned it into 9,000 million. That's a great ROI. That means this guy knows how to increase his income. You give him a little, he turns it into a hell of a lot. And I, what I said to that person on the live call, I said, well, if I'd given you a thousand bucks, would you have been able to turn it into $9 million? or even $900,000? And the guy on the live call chatting with me said, oh, maybe I could. And I said, see, you were about to go down that route of most people, see other people's success and get paralyzed without even knowing it by immediately writing off other people's success. So if you wanna be successful, number one, instead of you know negatively dissecting, then number two, what you wanna do is think of yourself like Robin Hood. I, I remember I was like a teenager, I came up with, I saw the, movie Robin Hood or a cartoon or something. I remember thinking, I want to be like Robin Hood, except I don't want to do it literally. I want to do it figuratively. Like I don't want to rob from the rich and give to the poor. I want to rob from the riches in their brain and give it to myself, the poor. I, I saw myself as not knowing how to make any money. So I was like, hmm, be a Robin Hood. Take from the rich people wealthy in knowledge, experience, wisdom, shortcuts, ideas, and give it to myself, poor. And the quicker you adopt that, the quicker it's gonna, you're gonna go. You will make more money if you begin to implement this. I don't know if you become a millionaire or billionaire, but it's not all about being a millionaire or billionaire, it's about going up. Number three, I think we're on three, right? Uh, if you think that it's, uh, well, actually, let me give you a different one. Those two were mental tips, right? I gave you some mindset tips. Let me give you some practical tips, some cutting edge stuff. If you wanna increase your income, I would look at two industries. One's called the messaging industry. So messaging is like WhatsApp or Periscope or Meerkat, the live apps. Uh, Snapchat's even a messaging app. So messaging businesses, are making a lot of money. WhatsApp, $18 billion business. 
um, I think I forget what the live snap, uh, Periscope Meerkat, you know, it's probably worth a, close to a billion dollars. People want to communicate with each other. And if you want to make more money and you enable people to communicate, this is an up and coming trend. It's a disruptive market trend that if you don't know what you should be doing with your life and you're kind of a social person and you're interested in social kind of businesses, that's a little practical tip, something I think can increase people's income if they put their head down and focus and really learn about that industry. And there's some other industries I think are up and coming. I'm actually gonna do a live talk on this, giving you uh, kind of some of these here, under 10 minutes, little videos that I do on my video blog. Just came back from golfing, so I'm getting ready to go take a nap, I'm tired. I was playing basketball, with, uh, I mean uh, golf with two-time Laker championship uh, point guard, Norm Nixon, and so, and Rob Fukazaki, the, uh, the, the TV guy. And so it was interesting talking to him, you know, he won two championships. You learn a lot from those people. I see myself like Robin Hood, I'm playing golf, I'm a guy who made it to the top of one of the hardest sports in the world. And so I don't go, well, he's just lucky, you know, he's really athletic. I remember what I said, principle number one. Um, so anyway, and we talked about even about messaging, if you're looking for some industries. So I'm gonna do a live talk on this. If you want even more stuff than I'm giving you now, click the link, take you to my website. It's completely free, there's no credit card needed. I've been doing these, they started out with like a thousand people coming on live. Now they're up to about 20, 25,000 people. So don't procrastinate, because I can actually interact with you. So when you click the link, take in my website, it'll show you the time in your local time zone when the talk is. Um, and then also give you a chance to submit some questions. So first come, first serve, if you have some questions for me, uh, don't wait till there's 20,000 people or whatever on the call. It's too hard for me to answer. But So click the link, you can watch, and you can watch them on your phone or your computer, they're pretty easy um, while you're doing other stuff, or if you have time to focus while you're in the car, sitting uh, at your desk, maybe working, have some off time. So maybe some other practical stuff. One of the things is, instead of procrastinating, you wanna focus on activating. And that sounds a little cheesy because I rhymed. I didn't mean it to rhyme actually, but uh, my second mentor, third mentor, or maybe it was fourth, Alan Nate, uh, Al Hal. I had a guy named Alan Nation and Al Hal. They both start with AL. I confuse them sometimes. But Al Hal is when I worked at GE Capital, uh, uh, GE Financial, which at that time was the largest company in the world and big finance company. He came in to train me. He was much older than me. And he said, Ty, you know, the difference between in my in his experience between ordinary people and people who make millions of dollars is that the people who make a million dollars just do the common sense stuff that everybody knows they should do but don't do that's what i mean by activating instead of procrastinating most of the world you probably right now if i sat down with you right now you know something that you could implement that would make you more money at your job a way that you could get a raise get shares in the company be promoted to partner. If you're an entrepreneur, a product you should be launching, a sales call you should be doing, a, a, maybe you should be getting on a plane and traveling somewhere. So it, it, we generally know what we should activate. We just don't do it. So I wish, you know, in this money-making blueprint, some of it is inside your head. It's not inside my head. It's not inside anybody else's head. Um, Mark Cuban actually told me something very interesting. So Ty, you know, one of the biggest problems I see now People want to make money and entrepreneurs, you know, he's on Shark Tank and all that. And he's made $3 billion himself. Not a bad number. He said, sometimes the answers, you have them already. And you just got to do them. And people spend all, and you know, I'm a big believer in books and knowledge and all that. But at the end of the day, you also have to activate some of that knowledge. All right. Another practical tip. Um, if you're not making enough money, learn to do sales and persuasion. You can do it in your current entrepreneurial venture. You can do it at the company you work at. If you're unemployed, it's a way to guarantee you'll always make more money. People who know how to communicate with others, who understand the psychology, uh, they understand the logical fallacies, they understand the cognitive biases. If you can do this, you'll always have a place in life. I promise you. Um, and you'll always make more than you expect you would make. But only if you're good at it. Mike Stainback used to tell me, Ty, if you're afraid of the phone, you'll never make much money in life. And he's kind of old school back then. He didn't use the computer like we, you know, he was a different generation than I was. 
uh, or than I am. And, and he, what he meant was, if you're afraid to engage with people, how are you ever going to do big things? So if you're introverted, there's some tools I'm going to give on this live talk on how to get out there. Sometimes it's partnering with someone else to do it for you. And sometimes it's just learning some simple techniques that aren't that stressful. Um, it doesn't have to be cold calling and all this stuff that people are afraid of. So yeah, click the link. I'm going to give you lots of stuff. I've got other trends that I see upcoming. I've got other blueprint, you know, this quote unquote money making blueprint, how you can build your own. Cause really there's not one that I have. I can give you fundamentals and I'll give you some specifics and you can make a little tweak even on this phone call uh, on this live call that I'm going to do. You can walk away from this live call with an actual plan for yourself. That's the goal. So while the rest of the world is, you know what Norm Nixon, when I was golfing, told me? So what do you think makes a champion? He said, you know, when everyone else is sleeping, champions out there working on their dream. I thought that was a cool thing he said. So on this live call, I'm going to walk you through it. We'll go through together. Walk away with a little blueprint that's personalized for yourself, that has tried and true principles. And, uh, yeah, maybe. Let's make, let's make, uh, I would hate to say it. It sounds cliche, but... Time to make a change sometimes. Joel Salatin, my first mentor, the first and the greatest he, uh, that I had, he said, there is no change without a change in routine. So this live call, maybe you have never been on one, maybe you have, it's a little bit different routine than most people. Most people playing video games, eating junk food, but you be a champion while everyone else is doing that stuff. Come, let's make this blueprint together and uh, click the link. It's free, take it my website. And yeah, I'm actually, uh, before you go, just to prepare for it, leave a little comment below something you should already be activating that you're not activating yet. For me, I'm, I'm adding some new salespeople at one of my companies to get on the phone and interact more with customers. I know that'll help. Customers want help and we, we have uh, uh, been building that out and that's something I'll, I'm activating more and more and it's working really well and every bit's a win-win. Customers love it. They get more interaction. They get their personalized answers. Uh, and it's a great way to, uh, well, like I said, messaging, communication. This is the future. This is what this is right now. You couldn't do this even 10 years ago. So catch the future trends. Click the link. It's above, below. You can go to my website too, tylopez.com, and uh, you'll see a link to it. Sign up. It's free. No credit card. No gimmicks. No tricks. And I will see you soon. All right, I'm headed to bed there. It's a little dark in here, sorry. I'm headed to take a nap, not bed.